What does John Deere have to do with a gourmet meal like this? I'll tell you what, right after I finish my beef, we'll go find out. Hi, I'm Jim Hibbs and we're at the Heritage Farm near Roanoke, Indiana. It's where East meets West. Or Midwest, anyway. Let's go find Pete Eshelman. Come on, guys. Enjoy breakfast. Hey, Pete. Here it is. Good morning. Hey, Jim. How you doing? Oh, I'm great. Looks like feeding time. Welcome to Heritage Farm. Yep, they're hungry. They're happy. Talk to me about raising cattle in Indiana using Japanese uh, methods. This is a Wagyu farm. We're raising Japanese cattle here. Uh, genetics are from Japan. And it's got, we're using, employing all the Japanese practices. You, you raise your own grain, you raise your own vegetables. It even ends up on the plate at your own restaurant. Uh, you must use a lot of equipment to get all this done from farm to fork. We use all John Deere equipment on this farm and it enables us to put a great product on the plates of the restaurant. Let's go take a look. Great. We're going to meet with the Heritage Farm Manager, John Pulver, who oversees nearly 200 acres of hay fields grown specifically for the Wagyu. Hay is big in any cattle operation, but it's huge in the Wagyu business. We got it mostly grass hay and we, we probably feed between 800,000 pounds of grain and hay. They use their 6430 and attachments to plant, rake, bale, and bring the hay in from the fields. Then they stack it, store it, and feed it. And even though the breed's a bit different, of course the result is the same when the cattle chow down on that hay. I'll tell you what, hay plus cattle equals this. And this is like gold, though. This is gold. Most people call manure, but it's gold. And we wouldn't want that gold to go to waste. Hey, has anybody got an air freshener? No, notice the manure on the cement. Amateur behind the wheel. The manure spreader's a little big for the garden plan by Alice Eshelman, but there's a deer at work here, too. And I got here just in time to help her till her garden over for winter. Oh, this is where we grow the vegetables for our restaurant. Um, we have everything from beans, tomatoes, corn, pumpkins. With the vegetable bed put to bed, we're here to meet deer dealer John K. Meyer, who helps keep things running smoothly at Heritage Farms. We created kind of an unusual business relationship where we've partnered together. His goals and his quest and his operation really parallel ours. John listened to the vision of what we're trying to create out here. Uh, he came up with a plan for us. It made business sense. It's through one manufacturer, one source to service the equipment. And John's become much more than selling a product. He's really been an advisor to us on our farm. Pete's will really worked me pretty hard today, so maybe uh, feel like eating? Well, we talk about vision. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, let's go, right, to let's go see let's what go. vision okay. tastes like. Beef is on the menu tonight. Wow, what a wonderful looking meal. A meal that was really, I mean, it ended up on the dinner table thanks to your, your partnership. Is that right, Pete? Yep, absolutely. And quit asking so many questions. I want to eat. <laughs> Thanks for the experience and thanks for the great meal at Joseph DeCleese. You're welcome. Great example of farm to fork. All right, John. Way to be a good partner. Thank you. My deer pleasure. appreciates it. We'll see you next time, Deer at Work. Are you putting a deer to work in an interesting way on your acreage or in your business? Drop us an email and maybe we'll swing by to see you.